To be completely honest, buying an iPad for my birthday this year was really an impulse buy. I had initially planned to get it on Christmas, but what the hell, you know? Why wait for December, right? Anyway, since it was an on-the-spot purchase, I only got to order the accessories when I already had the actual iPad with me. That is why the unboxing for the accessories is in this video, not along the iPad unboxing video. First on the list is this gray lavender case. Silicon on the back, kind of hard, and has a leathery flap. I really like it. I like the lavenderness of the color. Just showing you the sides now to make sure all necessary holes are accounted for. All sides are covered, but you can charge the Apple Pencil without a sleeve if you push it a bit. After a few days of using it that way though, it's not very recommended. I ended up cutting the sides, actually. I like how it still complemented my blue iPad. I didn't want super light blue variant, so the dark lavender is just right. Next up is the paper-like screen protector. I've seen reviews where they don't recommend this because of how it dims the overall resolution of the iPad. But I've always liked the matte, so I'm fine with it I guess. Unboxing this scared me a bit because I've gotten used to tempered glass screen protectors that, you know, break. So when I saw that the parcel was bent, I got scared for a bit only realizing that it's not glass after all so i shouldn't be worried that's me worrying about the bent packaging by this time i've been using the ipad for around five days already so i was very excited to put the screen protector on because i hate leaving fingerprints all over the screen and using the apple pencil directly for fear of scratching it i don't know i'm just paranoid the package came with a cleaning kit, thankfully, and I took my time to really clean and get all the dust out because I don't want to mess it up. Not overreacting, but I think this took me a solid 5 minutes or so, maybe longer. I just kept wiping and wiping and removing the dust because, again, I've been using it for a few days. I did not want to leave any prints on it that would cause for bubbles so yeah it took some time so here I am but for this one I think I did a pretty pretty good job like one of the best uh, screen protector application I've ever done there are no bubbles at all after that's done of course I will now put it in the case um, you can see I changed my wallpaper, um, my layout, and my color scheme. Um, since I know that a lavender case was coming, I wanted to play around with the same color scheme or mood, I guess. That's why I chose a muted, kind of dark blue. Not so baby blue and not navy blue, but in the middle. After a few days, the rest of the accessories arrived and I'm in a different setting. I'm over at my mom's, but they have the same table as I have at home, so it looks the same, but not the same. So let's get into it. Um, three products, three products, three accessories came today. Um, let's get into them one by one. This one took a while because I don't know why, but I ended up ordering overseas, even though I know that there are local shops. I guess I did not look because I was excited that that was my first day with the iPad, so I wanted to buy accessories. And I'm just, okay, order, order, order. It's the Apple Pencil sleeve. I got it in green because I still wanted a green touch. The next item would probably be my favorite out of everything. Um, I found this after watching a lot of iPad unboxing videos here on YouTube. And I think I kind of fell in love at 
from love at first sight uh, i started researching about the brand it's the bully kit elves controller and s18 so you might see the pro version circulating a lot on youtube but there is a non-pro version which i searched online doesn't really have a lot of difference with the pro version so i got the non-pro one and saved around 500 pesos so that's actually what pushed me to end up buying this i think the pro price is too expensive for a controller but when um i found the non-pro one okay this is a sign i really need to get this and i did and here it is it's so pretty the turquoise color is really just the mixture of my favorite colors blue and green it's just really right there in the middle i love it so unboxing the gooey kit elves controller ns18 non-pro version it still has the same things that the pro package has like the usb-c cord the instruction manual and the controller still comes in the really nice ca hard case that protects it from being smudged if you ever smudge is that right squashed squished i'm really lost right now um, from being damaged if there's a lot of things in your bag since i know that i was going to purchase the controller which pairs well with the Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise. I think that's its actual partner. That's why the brand created it. I'm not sure. But of course, I had to buy thumb grips for it. I've been really fascinated about um, fascinated with thumb grips. And I don't really have a reason to buy it because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. But now I have a controller that looks a lot like the Joy Coins. <laughs> I can buy the thumb grips and I got me these really cute thumb grips. They're blue, still following our color scheme, our aesthetic, and it has eyes, accents on it. Because I'll be mainly using this to play Genshin Impact and I main Ganyu. So, Cryo Supremacy, right? Look at it, so cute. When I was filming this, I was actually again over at my mom's my little sister was almost just right beside me so that's why i did not even check the manual first and went ahead and opened my bluetooth settings without knowing how to pair i think i just held down some buttons and i got to um connect it here i am trying to use it for a genshin This is the first time I'm going to be using a controller for the Genshin controls. I've been playing on mobile ever since. I've been playing Genshin um, ever since the release. Like a week after it was released, I downloaded it. So I got most of the characters. I'm not a whale, but I do um, BP and Welkin. So I have a lot of 5 stars. I'm not really used to the controls yet but these days i've actually kind of lost touch with genshin i'm not too excited to play and i think buying this controller and learning to or getting used to the controls on the actual controller will help me revive my love for it because of the whole experience thanks for watching this week's video I will be linking the Shopee links, one Lazada link, the thumb grips because I'm really looking for a nice design if you guys want to purchase the accessories that I got for my iPad. Thanks again. See you guys next time.